Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the official Miss Jamaica. How you doing? I'm doing good. Really? How good are we doing? <laughs> are we doing good now, huh? I'm doing great now. Okay, all right then. Now you're doing great. Yes. All right, man. So, man, today, man, we got a special, special guest, man. Uh, you know, somebody that I hold dear to my heart, somebody that I've been knowing forever. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. like... Um, but she's into a lot of different things and we just wanted to bring on the show so she could share. Aww. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't want to call her what I, what her maiden name and, and that's how far back we go. So yeah. I'm trying to make sure I get it right. So I look back at the screen. Miss Lorraine Love Taylor is in the building. How you doing? I am good. I'm good. You're looking great. Thank you. To God man, you ain't aged a day. All right. Man, that's a blessing, <laughs> man. So Lorraine is here today, man, and she's going to help us out on some real estate tips, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. She's going to tell us kind of what she's been seeing, you know, uh, in today's society. I think this is going to help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole purpose of what we do here is to help people. So, Lorraine, just let us start off by you telling us uh, just a little bit about yourself, a little bit about whatever you want to share okay. with Boss Talk 101. Okay. Well, my name is Lorraine Love Taylor. I've been a realtor for about 16 years. Wow. Yes. I did not know it was that mm -hmm. long. It's been that long. God, yes. I'm tripping. I know. You're I OG. Actually, you are I, OG well, in I the am, game. <laughs> I am. Because I started... Um, I was working for the Dallas Morning News. I was there for like 20 years. And in, when I was there, I always wanted to help people. So I always said I wanted to be a realtor. What did you do at the Dallas Morning News? I was actually, I helped um, the reporters and things like that. Okay, so but you weren't actually helping people at that time. Except I was, children. yeah, I was helping people, but not the not way that the I way really wanted really to. Because my passion was helping Okay. And with the Dallas Morning News, it wasn't necessarily that. So I feel like I've always been that kind of person where I've always wanted to be there when people needed me. So I always wanted to be a realtor, and I talked about it a lot. And I would talk to my husband about it, Jock Taylor. Man, and shout out Jock Taylor. Boy. We're <laughs> getting, him, we're getting him on the guest. show. Did he yeah, like it? He did. Okay, cool. So he'll be here. That's what I'm talking yes. about. So, um he just told me, he said, okay, you keep talking about it. You keep talking about doing Jump. it. Yes, and that's what, because I've always been in this, like, this just circle. Bubble? Yeah, the bubble where I'm like, yeah. okay, I can't do anything. I'm from, you know. Yeah, I'm from, yeah, yeah, town. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yes. We're from the same mm -hmm. small town, yeah, so, so I get it. you from East Texas. Lodi, Texas. Lodi, Texas. Lodi, 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 Lodi. shout out Lodi. 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 Whenever you say small Wait a minute. Town, you got yeah. to yeah. mention yeah. the yeah. town. Yeah, it's tatted on my chest. Do I need to take my shirt off? I'm kind of thick, though. I can't, ain't like I use it. So, yes, so that's what I did, and I actually jumped, and ever since then, it's like it's been a blessing a blessing, blessing. for me and blessing for the people that I've helped. Man, I've mm -hmm. seen you. I, I've seen you come out of that shell, that yes. bubble. I remember yes. you from being young and us mm -hmm. growing up together, and it was different for me when yes. I seen you start talking. I'm like, that's okay. not her. She out of the shell. Yes. You know, and I was very, I was happy about it because mm -hmm. I had to go through that too. Right. It, it, it's the time, you know, you know uh, people see me now, they be like, yeah, he always... But it wasn't always like this for me. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was always about the Talker. hustle. No, I'm not just. I talked to who I wanted to talk to. Certain people right. I didn't. I, I would I would shy back from talking to certain people. I think it was me and God that had this situation where I had to come out mm -hmm. and start really, really talking about something that was worth something. Right. Mm -hmm. But when I was just, no, I, would, I wouldn't talk a lot when I was in the streets. I'd kind of hide things. You move different when you're right. a street cat. Mm -hmm. So you don't let people know everything yeah. anyway. But when you when you when you transform or tra be ye transformed, you know, I, when I transformed, mm -hmm. when I changed, that that was when when right. I started trying to speak more, try to do something and try to help people right. and not shy back because I'm representing mm -hmm. the most mm -hmm. high God. Does that make yeah, sense? It does, because I had to pray about it. A I lot. bet. I bet. Because it's like I was that shy girl from Lodi, Texas, that thought that I couldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it's like one day I'm like, OK, God. I'm going to just step out there yeah. and just do what I do. And it's like a lot of people always say, girl, that's you. You used to be shy. You used to wouldn't, wouldn't talk to anybody yeah. and things like that. Yeah. And that was me. And it still is in a way, but I have to just, you know. But Mr. I, Taylor had to, uh, had something yeah. to do with that too. He did. Because, you know, y'all won. Mm -hmm. So I believe that a lot of times what happened is we – we mirror one another, right. like me and my wife. We've been mm -hmm. together kind of the same amount of right. time, and and That's and true. we kind of mirror each other. Like mm -hmm. and 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 you know, I'll ask questions to her, and she'll 
tell me what she think more right. openly than others will. Mm-hmm. And she see me more than right. anybody mm-hmm. else. So I'm pretty sure he's seen those right. things in you right. and he knew what you really were like. Yeah. And you and, always try to think that you have to be that, okay, I'm perfect. I, yeah. Oh, I don't look good this today. Yeah. So I'm not going to do it. Yeah. So, but it's like, you know, people want to see you. They don't yeah. want to mm-hmm. see that mm-hmm. fake. So it's like a lot of times I just get out there. I get on Facebook and just start talking. And a lot of times I'm like, oh, I think I look a mess, but I don't care. Exactly. It's like, and I know people like, oh, you know. Yeah, you got. You, you know, you just gotta get you out there and do it. You can't go by what people mm-hmm. think because people will tell you oh, anything, yeah. mm-hmm. and so you gotta go by what God says. And mm-hmm. He says you're fearfully and wonderfully made. That's true. Yeah, he say he mm-hmm. says that you are you are God's. He say you're peculiar people. Right. And when He says that you're this and that. He, you know, it, it, you got to go by that. Right. Because he also says, so is a man think of in his heart. So mm-hmm. is he. Oh, is he? So yeah. you, if you feel a certain way in your heart, that becomes you. So you got to get away from that and really learn who you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And yes. who you are by his standards. Right. That's where it's at. Yes. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But no, I'm, I'm just so happy that you came and did the show with us, man. Um, I was excited about it. Um, I do a lot of people here for us. We, we got a lot of people that come on the show, but... You know, we hadn't had a real real estate agent, no, and time. it was people that asked me to have somebody that right. does real estate on, and I was like, nah, nah. Mm-hmm. But then when when Stevie said that, it was like a given because we come from where we mm-hmm. we linked, so mm-hmm. it's like okay, it's a no brainer for me, right. you know. So I didn't even have to struggle with the. And I thank you, for man. That. I thank God for you. <laughs> I thank but you the thing for we that. use we use our platform not only just to get information to educate to right. help, mm-hmm. and that's on in every topic you can find. So even when we're out here hustling, trying to get people on here, or people right. contacted us, uh, contacting us to get on here, um, we let them know that we talk about everything because right. you never know who you might help. That's true. Help, yeah. That's true. Yeah, so how do you like talking to all these different genres of I people? I love it because I've learned, I've learned so much. And mm-hmm. I'm the type of person that anything I learn, I'm going to pass it on. So I'm going right. to tell somebody. So when I leave here and I'm telling people about it, I'm like, you never guess who came on. And you know what they just said? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. so you educate. And I don't just like the regular talking, everyday talking. Tell me right. something that I don't know. Tell mm-hmm. me something that will help somebody. You know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yes, when we have rappers on here, yes, their music is awesome. But what did you do to get where you are today that right. you can help someone who is looking or at mm-hmm. inspiring to be an mm-hmm. artist as well? Right. But and I think so. I think I think we co- we cover that. I think yeah, we do. A I lot think the main thing concerned. with the rappers, if, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off that subject, mm-hmm. but the main thing with that is so many of our young kids are, are, are that's what they're saying they're gonna right. be. So the more we get them on here and ask the questions mm-hmm. that they can see us, right. and then they'll be able to understand the path that they're trying to accomplish. Because right. a lot of times they think it's mm-hmm. uh, a little bit easier than what it yeah. may seem, yeah. and so we have to get people on here so mm-hmm. we can ask the questions so that young person will be able to see through us right. and boss talk 101 how this artist may have come by what he's mm-hmm. done or how he stopped doing what he may have right. been going to do you know what i mean so these things you wouldn't be able to see unless right. we put them on the platform because people say that about real estate they always say oh i want to be a real estate agent because you make so much money yeah you yeah yeah do this, and it's so easy and i'm like it's really not no it's like it's stressful yeah if you yeah. let it be stressful yeah and it's like you always want to help that person, but you can't help everybody. And it's like you got to be real. Yeah. You got to be real with them. They may not be ready to buy now, but if they do what we tell them to mm-hmm. do, then eventually they will be, be able. able to buy. Yeah, you know, it may not be now, but I just feel like everybody deserves that chance if that's what they really want to do. Yeah. But they just have to do it. But like I was saying with real estate, a lot of people think it's easy. No, and they always say, "Hey, I wish I was a real estate agent," and they'll. You know, I'm thinking about doing it. So I'm like, okay. Okay. Make sure you research everything before you do it because it's not as easy as you think it is. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Today, in today's society, um, well, for the past couple of years, Mm -hmm. I've been hearing more and more people saying that they want to be a real estate agent. (laughs) Right. Or getting up to go get certified to be the agent because I guess that's the booming market right Mm -hmm. now. But um, I know it costs a lot to do it, to to take the classes and Mm -hmm. the course and all of that. And then you have to... Let me not tell them about it. You're the professional. Tell us what steps you have to take to become a real estate agent. Well, you do have to. You do have to take the classes. Like I said, I've been a real estate agent for over 16 years now. So when I started, I was at the Dallas Morning News, and I did it on the weekends. So um, it's just certain 
things that you have to do, but it's like you have to take the classes and then you have How to long go does and it take, take um back then I think it was I wanna say about and I can't even remember now because it's been so long ago, but it's not as hard to take the classes because um sometimes, you know, back then if you had college courses you can use those as some oh, of the classes as oh, well I so know that. i'm not really sure see that's good that's to know because now, the people that but, i know that have mm-hmm. been taking it they just said they have to go and take the classes and you pay for the classes and mm-hmm. then after you do the classes and you're doing the exam you got to pay for the exam as well that's true and if, if you a real estate agent like if you're leaving uh-huh. dallas and you had to go to another state you got to go back and do the test mm-hmm. and pay for, for that yes. again and get that now if you don't pass state. that test you have to Take it again. You have right. to pay for it again. Exactly. And then, you know, people don't think about the dues that we have to pay every year and every quarter. How expensive is those dues? Uh, it just kind of depends. Sometimes we have to pay, let's just say, I'm just giving a, like a ballpark figure. Does it Probably differentiate? About, mm-hmm, it does. Oh, okay. Because, you know, you have to pay for the super keys. You have to pay oh, for... Okay. What are know, super just, keys? It, I know That's how we get it. into the properties. Through oh, It's like oh, a little okay. key that we have, and we have to pay for that. We have to pay for our dues as far as, you know, the MLS fees. Mm-hmm. The MLS is the same thing. It's like looking for the houses on the MLS. We got to pay for those kind of fees. So there's a lot of things that and we have to. And you are to, paying for it as an individual or your brokerage no, firm that you. As an individual. Okay. Because I know there's mm-hmm. a lot of parts to this. Yes. We um, have to. Because we you have also, that firm as well. We also have to work under a brokerage. A can you create your own? You can, but you actually have to be a realtor for a certain amount of time. First, I think it's like two years. It could be four. I can't remember. Before you actually branch uh-huh, off. Before into... you can actually branch off and be your own broker. Okay. Because you make more money then, that way, right? Yes, you do. But okay. you have to do your research because a lot of times it's not that easy because whatever we do, if we do something that we're not supposed to do, it falls back on the broker. So, oh, okay. yeah, and it's like we still have things that we have to with oh, and every transaction. something that you didn't do, give us an example of something um, that a, a realtor cannot do and it will fall back on the broker. Well, if you do something that you're not supposed to like, do, like let's say if someone's trying to buy a house and they say they're working and they're using like someone that knows how to do those checks and yes, all that other yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And if I, know, you I know about actually, that. Yeah, I know if about you actually get caught, it's like... And you are you actually knew that that's what they were gonna do. So everything has to be legit. Okay. You can't do well, how, anything. How can you guys test it? Well, you don't know. I mean, we don't know now. If we don't know, we're gonna get in trouble. Exactly. But there's a lot of people that they're do know, sh- yeah, and they 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 they're, they're skewing love. the numbers. Yes, because they so. want to make that. They sale. want to make that sale, and mm-hmm. they know that the even the, if the money is there, the paperwork right. has to be right. Mm-hmm. So I get yeah. that. So right. there's just a lot of little things that people can do. I don't know a lot of them because I don't do it. And that's what's <laughs> up. You know? so, right, yes, right, so. right. Which I, I mm-hmm. didn't expect didn't you to do, but I know that people talk. Mm-hmm. So I was just wondering yeah. if you knew of instances. Yeah. I got a question mm-hmm. What to her. What Was your brother a real estate agent in Atlanta? Um, yeah, he went and did a, the exam, got the paperwork, got did everything, but yeah. didn't do anything with it. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot of people today. They yes. go out and get it mm-hmm. and, and then don't use it. it. Mm-hmm. And, don't and use it's it. not that they don't want to use it. A lot of times they don't realize how hard it is. Exactly. Because honestly, a lot of times when I'm dealing with people, it's like a, a lot of the people that come to me are people that I don't know. Because the people that I do know, a lot of them, they like... Mm, I wonder if she really know what she's doing. Mm-hmm. And then you get discouraged because a lot of people are not coming to you. The people that you think will come to you, not gonna be and the they're people. not. That's and in this business, like, any business, mm, any you, business get, yeah. you go to. And then you get discouraged, but you can't get discouraged. You have to keep pushing because they always say, you know, it's just one of those things where you just have to, you know, because with me, I've been a realtor so long that I have people, thank God, that refer people to me. Yeah, yeah. Because, you build that rapport yeah. with the people that but you're But if around. you don't, it's like you have to just be patient enough to know that it's going to come, but you just got to keep pushing until When, when I think about a real, real realtor or mm-hmm. someone who wants to be a realtor, if I wanted to be a realtor, because mm-hmm. I've heard people say this, and I don't know if this is everybody's frame of mind, mm-hmm. but a lot of younger people, I think it is, they want to be a realtor and sell, sell all those big houses because yeah. they know that they're going to make all this money. Yeah. I'm only going to sell to celebrities or mm-hmm. people who have money and stuff like that. Yeah. And I know you've probably heard that yes. before. Yes. So what would you say to people who have that frame of mind and coming in the door thinking, oh, I'm just going to okay. kill well, it? Where are they going to get those people from? 
you know, you can always say what you're going to do, but or how can you do that? Because a lot of people, they think that, hey, I can call so-and-so and I can get them to. But a lot of times they'll tell you, hey, I got you, but they really don't. <laughs> so it's like don't go out there thinking that you're going to sell these big houses because you're new. So I don't trust you with a million-dollar house unless I know you know what you're doing. So, you know, that's just and commission it's hard. And commission wise, what does that what is the commission for a realtor based on? Of course we know it's the price of the house, but what mm-hmm. else does it differentiate depending on the company you're with and all the of that? The company you're with, the closing costs, stuff mm-hmm. like that. What what's what the does it? what well it, it, each each deal is different. Mm-hmm. Each deal is I, different. I would think so. And usually as a realtor, we do six percent. Okay. And six percent of whatever the house can you do is more? worth. We can do more. Okay. But the norm Whose is usually is six percent. That's just the norm. Okay, it's six percent. But could and you go in if it was somebody like me because we grew up together and be like, I'm going to do him four percent. I would do you. I mean, no, I'm just asking. More, you. so uh, I would uh, actually uh, try uh, to give you eight percent. Yeah, 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 I would give you two and a you two know, and a half okay. to help you out. Yeah, I'm just trying to but, figure out how those numbers yeah, go. Yeah, but it's three percent. But actually, it's three percent goes to the seller. Okay. The seller's agent. Okay. And three percent goes to the buyer's agent. Because everybody got to get paid. Yes. And a lot of people think, well, after you go under contract, you don't do anything else as a realtor. But yeah. we do. We do a lot of things that people don't know about. We have to talk to the lender. We have to talk to the, you know, we have to talk to the title company and make sure that everything is right. So just to kind of start off, I would tell people when they call me and they'll say, hey, I want to buy a house. The first thing I always say is, I'll ask them if they have a realtor because mm-hmm. people think they don't need a realtor, but you really do need a realtor because to buy or sell both because like I know someone right now selling mm-hmm. their house mm-hmm. and, um, and they have it um, on the market for like 200 something thousand dollars, mm-hmm. but they said they don't want to go to go through a realtor or anybody mm-hmm. else because they don't want to have to share that money. Of right. course they want all of that. Mm-hmm. And I think they're not in a rush because they would like to move, but it's not like I have to, like right. if it sells, it sells. Right. But then how do they know how much it's really, really worth? Because they're probably going off of something that they saw and they're like, okay, we're just going to use this right. amount. But as a realtor, we can educate them and say, you know, you were thinking you can get this Can't amount. Can't you just Google it? What your house is worth in that you area? You can, but we do um, comps okay. and whatever it's selling for in that area. We kind of um, go by that amount. They don't have the comps or anything like that. You can do it that way, but mm-hmm. it's not. I mean, you could probably get more for your house if you go through a real- realtor because we actually know, okay. you know, how okay. Okay. how it works. But they always think that the realtor is going to get six percent of their because as a buyer, you don't pay the realtor. Right. As a seller you usually pay the realtor the 6% and that's for the seller's agent and for right. the, the um, buyer's agent. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times they may get more by dealing with the realtor. Cause let's just say if they're listing it for two fifty, and if the realtor do comps on it, they may be able to get 300,000. Mm-hmm. So you're paying the realtor and you're still getting oh, what you want. When you, you say wanted. comps, explain the comps. What is it's, comps? Uh, comps like the, the houses that's in the area. Mm-hmm. And how much they sold for. Mm -hmm. And they probably haven't researched that part to see how much the houses are that sold in that area. Because right now it's such a seller's market that a lot of these houses are selling for way more than they used to back back then. So Mm -hmm. they could probably get more for their house if they actually was educated enough to or talk to a realtor to say. And we can just do some comps on the house and say right down the street, this house sold for 300000 So you have your house listed for two fifty. If someone buys it for two fifty, it's like they lost fifty thousand dollars that they could have, you know. Well, um, I mean, other than those, oh sorry. I'm just going to ask a question. Well, go ahead. What is the biggest mistakes that you've seen um, buyers and sellers mm-hmm. have done, even sometimes with a realtor mm-hmm. by their side, where they could have either gotten way more for their house, mm-hmm. or a buyer could have gotten it for way less. Um, I think a lot of times they paperwork don't, wise and all of yeah, that. Yeah, they don't research it and they get anxious and they think, Oh, I'm not gonna get anybody else to um to put in an offer on this house, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I always tell people sometimes 
you know, you may get a good offer, but let it sit there for a minute to just kind of see what you're going to get. So a lot of times they don't, they're in pay, they're like, they want it now. They want to go ahead and get it sold or want to buy it now. So I think that's one of the things that I would tell people to just kind of relax and make sure that, you know, just don't give the house away. Do some research on it and just be patient just a few days and just let it sit there and just see what we get. Because everything that we get from these different people is like we got to talk to the buyer about. Mm -hmm, But mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest thing, like with the lady or the people that you're talking about. Right, right. It's like they... They're going to get an appraisal once they go under contract, and they may, you know, could have been at the point where they could have got a whole lot more, mm-hmm. you know, so. Okay, so we got we got a caller that's calling okay. in. I'm going to have a question <laughs> for you. Okay. Uh, Ashley, um, are you there? I'm here. Okay, we got Miss Lorraine Taylor. Hi, Ashley. Lorraine. What's your question today for us, for, for Miss Lorraine? I have a few questions. I would like to know what the ideal credit score is to get a house. The ideal credit score is higher than 620. Now, some people can do um, 580, but the interest rates are gon- not going to be uh, as good as it would if your credit scores are high. We can get you approved with um, 580, but... They rather for your scores to be in the six twenties and above because I think at six forty, you can get um, help. You can actually get you know depending on it's the debt ratio because they go by the debt ratio. But you're answering your question. It's about six twenty. That's good. Oh, understood. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do want to know uh, more about first time home buyers. Can you explain? Um, what exactly is the process of a first-time home buyer? Well, first of all, it is your credit scores. And I think mm-hmm. what the first-time home buyer has to be at least a 620. Mm-hmm. And they go by your debt ratio on how much your how much debt you have. And okay. usually uh, they go by how much um, income you have as well. So that's something that hopefully if they invite us back out, we can have a, a lender to come in and um, kind of explain a lot of that stuff, as, you know, to you as well and just kind of break it down because I have a preferred lender that I use and I have a preferred title company. So, you know, it's like um, you just have to, um, we just have to off air. I'll give you my number and you can call me and I can tell you exactly what we, we, what we need to do. What do you, okay. and it's always the, credit score the middle credit score that you have mm-hmm. it's not that um if you have a 620 it depends on the the three credit bureaus that you have it depends on which number the it's going to be the second it's going to be the the credit score of that third i mean it's the middle credit score that's the one is you have like, to look at is it the FICA score it's going to be the Middle score. It doesn't matter which one it is. It's going to be the middle score. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. That's good. No, those are good questions, mm-hmm. Ashley. Are you you about to come? You, are you in Texas or yet? I'm actually in St. Louis, Missouri, and I want to move down to okay. Texas uh, to Dallas. Yes, to Dallas. Okay. Okay. Um, well, we love a- to have you for sure. You. I love Dallas. I Who do don't love Dallas? This is the place <laughs> to be. You get good houses, mm-hmm. good land, and then you got all type of things you can do here, girl. When you get here, just hit us up on Boss Talk 101. We'll let you know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, uh, can I ask a question? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Um, other than the credit score and your income, are there other requirements? Um, of course, it's going to be your income. Okay. Just your mm-hmm. income? Your- mm-hmm. Based on it's going to be your income. Okay. And, you know, the income is great, but also, you know, like I was saying, you have to make sure that um, with your income, they look at your debt because they want to okay. make sure that you can afford a house. Because I have a lot of people that call me and they say, mm-hmm. hey, I saw this house. I really want to, you know, look in it and see, you know, what it looks like because I really want to buy a house. And my first question would be, have you been approved? Because we have exactly. to have you approved. Because if you're not approved, there's really no need to even go and look. Because you don't even know how much you're approved for. 
is right. for until you actually talk to a lender. They t- give, you know, they take all the information. They're going to ask you all the information. That's why I was saying, you know, I would talk to you off air so that we can, you know, talk to my preferred lender and she'll, you know, get all the information from you. And then that's when we, you know, tell you exactly how much you qualify for. And then that's when we start looking. Hmm. Okay. That's good Sorry. stuff right there. Can I take your number down? Sure. You ready? Uh-huh. It's 214-684-6994. Lorraine Love Taylor. Lorraine Love <laughs> Taylor. Sounds I pretty appreciate cool. it. Thank My you. Question. Thank you so much for calling in. We appreciate you. And when you get to Dallas, like I said, come by Boss Talk 101. You're going to love it. And you can also okay. call me because we can talk about it and I can tell you what, you know, what yeah, you're, you're going right. to need. And then, okay. you know, and I can get you with my preferred lender because you can do all that before you even get here. So you can okay. you can actually start the process mm-hmm. now. So mm-hmm. so you'll have it wrote. Because I always wrote. tell people to start the process just in case you're not ready. Uh-huh. And then maybe um, if it takes you six months to be ready, at least in six months, you'll be ready. Because I have a lot of people always say what they want to do. But then mm-hmm. in six months, they're still, I want to do. Wow. So, right. yes. Right. So, yes, ma'am. Well, thank you for calling in. Thank you thank for having you. me. All right. Uh, all right. That's how, I, that's how I go down. You got mm-hmm. uh, Ashley, she might move to Texas, maybe. Mm-hmm. Dallas. Yeah. Lorraine, thank you so much for coming on this show. You're so welcome. I mean, you definitely, uh, you have evolved. Because when you was at that Dallas Morning News, I remember calling down there a few times or calling you, you know, mm-hmm. during the process. Mm-hmm. We was, you know, um, we got one more caller that's going to be asking some questions. Okay. Uh, uh, his name is Keith, Keith Jr. Keith, uh, how you doing? Are you there? Yes, sir. How hey, you doing? Hey, Keith, sir? how are you? Hey, what's up, man? What what questions do you have for Miss Lorraine today about real estate? Um, well, the first question I had, what are the top three to do's before purchasing a home? I think the top three is credit. Make sure your credit is straight. That credit series, right? Yes. I always ask people that question, credit. What do your credit scores look like? And okay. I would think, you all, people, I don't know why, but they always think they don't have to have any money. You gotta have some bread. <laughs> I mean, what you gonna run? Unless your credit is like A one, like seven. Even if it's A one, do you still have you to have still some? Have to have, yeah. you still have to have some credit. I mean, and you still have to actually have money mm-hmm. because earnest money, option money, and inspection all has to be done okay. up front when you but actually go under. But they can take it under. out of the escrow or something mm-hmm. like that. No? Those three things you have to have up front. Mm-hmm. So I always say money for sure. How much money? Um. With that, the earnest Depending money is the, usually one percent of what the house, the house is. Call. So, okay. mm-hmm. so one percent of uh, say a million dollar home. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She's like, mm, you see how yeah, that face yeah, lit yeah, up? Yeah. That face lit up when she heard a million dollar yeah. home. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that's mm-hmm. real. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But 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 let's just say if it was three hundred thousand, I would say three thousand yeah. dollars. you would have to come up with, and then with the option money, the well, option ten thousand ain't that bad for a million. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, not many people just have that ten thousand. Really? Around. Okay. Oh. Y'all ready to buy another house? No, <laughs> no, I ain't. I ain't, uh, I ain't. I'm good. We over there okay. living, living, uh, almost dead free, right? Mm. Yeah. Right. Really? Yes. Pretty much walking on that uh-huh. high, on that grass. It feel different on your did feet. The same thing we did. Just bought yeah. when you, yeah you buy you buy when you first getting uh-huh. into uh, we yes. we first starting up you know we decided to buy we didn't even go for the big wedding we just did that in October mm-hmm. but yeah yeah, it, yeah. It, it, sometimes you just have to you got to play your cards the way mm-hmm. you feel like they dealt because now if you sell it's like all they always say you know right now it's a seller's market yeah but it's a seller's market but if you sell yours where are you gonna go. Exactly, but, an yeah. apartment. Now mm-hmm. let's uh, <laughs> go mm-hmm. ahead. No, for real. Yes. Uh, so the, the first thing is uh, you have to have your credit straight, Keith mm-hmm. Jr. And the second right. thing is that you have to have some money. What's the third thing, Lorraine? Right? Oh, let me see what else the third thing will be. Because I always ask people, okay, how long you been on your job? Is it okay? Is it better to be married or single? 
It does that matter? It doesn't matter. I'm just asking. If you actually have the money to buy by yourself, because right now my daughter Jasmine yeah. is looking. Okay. And I'm so proud of her for that. Man, but, um, shout out to Jasmine. Mm-hmm. Jasmine, what's up? What's up? When you, <laughs> where you looking? I mean, uh-huh. I, you better get, let your mama help you with that yes, house. I'm looking. I'm helping right. her find one. But yeah, it's the third thing you think. It's like you think? your job. Your job. You Having be a, your job. being on your job. That, that's good. Two years. At least two at years. At least two years. Mm-hmm. And, and Keith, you've been on your job for 20 something years, oh, so I yeah. don't think you're going to have no problems. So you're good. You're That's good. correct. Mm-hmm. I got it. I actually wrote down six questions. Okay, but, come on but with it. Going to my, my second question would be if all of your credit scores, right, and everything is on point, mm-hmm. could you still qualify for? a first-time home buyer loan or program? If so, would you recommend that? Uh, yes, you, you can. And um, like I was telling the first caller, that's just something we, we have to um, call the lender, talk to the lender about, because a lot of people do do the first-time home buyer. Um, they usually get the money from there, but uh, there's so many different programs, and it's kind of up to you to you know, go ahead and just say, hey, this is what I want to do. So a lot of times people do do the first time home um, programs, and it's not bad. It's just you have to make sure that's something that you want to do, but that's something that we would discuss with the lender. But it is out there. Okay. Yes, okay. Mm-hmm. Third question. Is it better to pay the full down payment? Uh, what do you mean full down payment? As far as say say you buy a home mm-hmm. and 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 to and say ten thousand whatever home you purchase if it's down payment ten down payment five is it better to do that or less? Or will they even let? Will they require you that absolute ten percent? Or will they? Or will they? Or will they let you work it in if you got five and you like I I don't I just got five but I want that house. Well, usually you're going to pay um, 3.5% if you're FHA loan. That's okay. going to be um, toward it. And then I always tell people when you get ready to buy a house, I always tell them to try to have more money than not enough money. And I always say, just say, if the house is 300000 let's do 7% or 8%. Let's get that, you know, into, you know, an account. That way, when you get ready to close on the closing costs and all that, I'd rather have too much money than not enough. So that's kind of what I would always tell people. Try to get at least or save up at least that 7%. And then that way you should be okay with, you know, closing. You may not even need that much because hopefully you'll get some kind of, you know, when you actually do the first time home buyer, hopefully you'll get some kind of, you know, help with that. And then I would rather for you to be able to just say, okay, I don't need all this money, but, I might want some furniture later. All so, right, now yeah. get that furniture. Mm-hmm. You got to yeah. get that furniture. <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna yes. be in there. This old buck. Hey, mm-hmm. I know some people that buy a big house and don't have no yes. money to put furniture in. Mm-hmm. Right. They just sitting up in there and they got nothing but a, mm-hmm. a, a, a a couch and they sleep on the couch and they house. They bought too much house. Yes. Is and it better? Do that. Is it better for a person to buy a brand new home or or a home that's been existing? It doesn't really matter. It's like a lot of times. We want to get this old boy six questions out the way. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna go in on it anyway. <laughs> What's your next question, uh, okay. KJ? So, um, with the with the economy how it is right now, mm-hmm. is it better to buy at this time oh, with wait. the interest rate how they are, or should we hold back? If you could buy at this time, the interest rates are great. So it's good to buy. The only thing is, you know, um, I do have a lot of First, I do have a lot of people that's actually looking for builders because it's easier where you can just go in and tell them this is what I want and they'll build it. But um, it is a good time to buy, but it's such a seller's market. It's stressful because you find a house that you love, but there's multiple offers. So there's probably about 20 people want the same house that you want. So sometimes you get discouraged because you can't get it. But it's a great time to buy, but you just have to be patient. Wow. So, yeah. It's good questions. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if, that's what I've been trying to be patient, you mm-hmm. know. Um, that's good, good, good answer, you mm-hmm. know, that I, I just want to hear. Yeah. So, um, the other ones is kind of, you know, self, I, I can um, kind of answer them myself, but I mm-hmm. want you to answer them for me if, 
if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Is it better um, as a realtor? What is your purpose? As a realtor, we give you knowledge. We um, whatever you tell us is between us. And a lot of people, it's like if you don't know, you don't know. And a lot of a lot of times we think since we're realtors, oh, they should know this, but. We just kind of, we, we have your back. We negotiate for you. We go in and we talk to the agent and we make sure that no one is trying to, you know, do something to you that later on, once you purchase the house, you, you know, you don't, because you need to get an inspection always. I don't care what anybody says because you can walk into a house and it'll look like, oh my God, this house is beautiful. But if you don't get an inspection, you may not know that, you know, they've had foundation issues. So as a realtor, we kind of educate you on things that you may not know and you may not even think about, but that's our job to just kind of make sure that, you know, we take care of you and we just try our best to, you know, get the best for our clients. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. Okay, last okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Keith. Last okay, question. Let's go. Last you got one question. more question, Keith. You done asked <laughs> about ten questions. He okay. <laughs> go ahead and go ahead and get this one out. Cause we, we, we yeah, yeah, you done took over the show. You were worse than Charleston White. You done took it over. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Um what are the benefits of buying a home for the audience? Oh, do you want to make your landlord rich? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You want to keep yeah. keep on paying uh-huh. him. He's going to keep on buying yeah. big, other homes with mm-hmm. your money, other real estate with yeah. your right, money. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. And tax purposes. You know, you can write it off on taxes and just things like that. But, I mean, it's always great to own your own, you know, house. All so, right. Yeah. Well, Keith Jr., we definitely enjoyed you, man. Um, uh, hopefully you get that house and hopefully you call Lorraine. Do you want her information or you or, or, or you uh, you want me to get it for you or for what? For sure. For sure. I, I do want her information. You guys can send it to I'll me. I'll send it I, to you. you know, I'll be calling you, Lorraine. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you for calling in. Okay. Um, go ahead. Uh, the official Miss Jamaica, you had a question that you wanted to ask. I have another question. So what are the things a buyer should know about a realtor when they're searching for the proper realtor to represent their best interest? What are, give me like three questions that I should ask a realtor when I'm interviewing them to make sure that, you know, that's a good can, question. Mm-hmm. You know like what, 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 what yeah. Like if you was outside of you thing. and you was buying a house, mm-hmm. what would you look for in a realtor that you picked? If you had to pick one, because pretty much people, is that what you're right, saying, right? A lot of people mm-hmm. don't, they, they go for the first person that say, right. okay, I'm a realtor. Right. I can help you. But you know, is it the knowledge? Is it how long you've been there? Is it, you know, who you know? It's just, just different it, it's things. It's the knowledge. It's all, I mean, it's the knowledge because you want them to fight for you. As realtors, it's like we um, we have to have that knowledge of, okay, we have to do our research. And we just have to, because um, I think with me, a lot of people, they trust me because, I mean, I'm, I'm just real. And you always want to find a realtor that's real and is going to tell you what you need to do and how you need to do it. Because I'm the kind of realtor where I'll call you, and I know that's probably not what you're talking about, but I'll call you. And if you're ready, then I'll continue to, you know, call you, give you information. And, you know, you want a realtor that's going to explain everything to you. Because I've had people that would say they've dealt with realtors before and they're like, they never broke it down to me like this. Right. So you want a real, very that informative. Cares, yeah, some... Yes. That is like, okay, this is what we need to do. And you want a realtor that's going to encourage you. That's going to say, yes, you can. Because I know a lot of people that they think they can't, you know, mm-hmm. buy homes, but you know, I know a lot of times, like you said, they do um, interview us, but me, I'm just being real. I'll tell you, like, you know, how I feel. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to make sure that you get, you know, I'm not going to let anybody, you know, try to overcharge you for yeah. a house that. Cause yeah, if you don't end, feel good about the house, you, yeah. you'll tell them the truth. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to just sell it to be mm-hmm. selling right. it. Right. And you some people do. Because yeah. I've heard people say, you know, I just want to sell. 
Yeah, that, and that, then I'm gone. You know, we, that's not me. We first bought our home. We was so green. Mm -hmm. I asked a couple of people like, "What you know?" Mm -hmm. But you know, it, what do? You, but I didn't really know what I was doing. Right. Um, Tennessee, shout out to Tennessee. Right. I don't even know if she's still living. <laughs> she was an older lady. Older. Shout out Tennessee with uh, what they with banker? What was it? Lord, I can't remember. Oh. I remember it's Blue, Caldwell, Cal, Cal, Caldwell, Caldwell Banker. Caldwell Banker. Shout out to Caldwell mm -hmm. Banker. That's who put us in our home. <laughs> Shout out Caldwell in okay. Tennessee. But anyway, Tennessee was. She showed us the house. She was. Mm -hmm. I think she really cared because she knew mm -hmm. we was young and new, mm -hmm. new to it. But, but but what I wish that she had done because you know living your first time home, you're just so excited to get a home. Yes. You're not. So now that we're in the home, you're like, ooh, I wish it had this. I wish it had mm -hmm. that. You know that type of mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So. I think real realtors should more interview yeah. their clients and say, okay, are you a person that's going to need a lot of closet space? Are you mm -hmm. a person that um, entertains a lot in your mm -hmm. kitchen? As much as I found this house, this house might not be, you know, right. what you really need. Mm -hmm. I think you might need this. Yeah, one but mm -hmm. that, that, that comes no, with time it. too. But that comes, that you evolve over time. Mm -hmm. You've definitely evolved over time. No, but if she had asked certain questions, it would have, made us think a lot mm -hmm. more. I don't think we, it would have made that big of a difference in the place that we were at as, as a couple. Mm -hmm. I think, I think it matters where you're at and what you, what you understand things to be mm -hmm. at the time that you're purchasing mm -hmm. your home. Cause I do ask questions. Huh? It would have made a difference for me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Cause I do. Ask you were so quiet and, uh -uh. and you didn't really say much of nothing quiet, back but then. I answer, you, if somebody asked me a question, right. I'll answer them. So mm -hmm. it would have, it would have triggered certain things in my thought That's a process. She's a different person. Mm -hmm. Evolution has happened with it, this one. I am. I am. But it still would have made me think. Right. But I was, I was just so super excited to get mm -hmm. my first home. It looked yeah. pretty and mm -hmm. you're not thinking about the functionality of your everyday, right. you know, moving yeah. around mm -hmm. in your house and stuff mm -hmm. like that. We, it's like, Oh, it's, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. I like it. You know, I know. We, we've added bedrooms. We did a lot of stuff oh. over the years. You do things after you. Yeah, you know. I wouldn't trade my house for anything. No, I but love still, my house, but but, yes. but, but it, it, it's comfortable. And the kids will they'll kill us both if we sell that house oh, or do right. it because they've been there their whole life. They don't know nothing else, so yes. they they're gonna be like, no, we're not moving nowhere. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's not a house. It's a home now. Exactly. Yes. It's, it, um, so you you get the house. I know when we first got our home, and I definitely. You know, we was we were young, but we loved God. So I remember mm -hmm. we had gotten money back, and I told Steph, I was like, if we get a certain amount of money back on closing costs, then we're going to bless some people. Right. So we took the money that we had got over and started. We went and had $100 bills out downtown wow. Dallas, and we hadn't been together but for about four or five months. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the first things. You know, mm -hmm. that's how I got it. She could, you can't uh -oh. deny it. When, yeah, you, you start <laughs> handing out money to homeless people and mm -hmm. start doing things for God. Yes. It's a whole different level. You, ain't, ain't no other man have any. Did you do that with any other man? Mm -hmm. See, that, that's, that's where the difference mm -hmm. come in. You say, well, how can you stay with him? And she'd be like, well, how could I not? Because there ain't many mm -hmm. people going out here really giving a heart yes. and doing things from their mm -hmm. heart and, and saying, God blessed us with a home. Right. Now we're going to go bless somebody else mm -hmm. and, and, and give them the closing cost money that we got right. back mm -hmm. to these people. Right. So I think that that makes a difference. I, I, that was one of the stories I remember. We don't tell that story much either. No, that was I sweet. bet we ain't never told nobody that story. Well, you just told somebody. Man, shout out to uh, the Smith family who <laughs> really we turned up. But, but no, I think but, that's that's the stuff mm -hmm. that makes you different. And right. but I But we still was after we got the home. Um, we still was, uh, like you said, we had to make the house a home, yeah. you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We, mm -hmm. we, we, now we gotta, we gotta try to figure it out, yeah. but it felt good versus being in the town home we was in. Right. Right. Cause I do ask the question on what's important. What do you want? And then I do have clients where they think they want this house. And I'm like, look, remember what we talked about. Mm -hmm. exactly. said you wanted exactly. a large yard. I know the house is nice, but this is not the only house that, you know, we're yeah. going to look at. So well, you said patience earlier. Mm -hmm. And I caught that. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes they'd be so over anxious. Yes. And, that it's they, like, and then they think, Oh my God, I'm not going to get another house like this. So let's just do it. And I'm like, but this is something I'm not going to pay not one of your bills. Yeah. So make sure this is something that you really want to be in. And when you drive up to this and I always tell people, because I did this when I was um, looking for a house. I always tell them, you'll know when, you know, you might not get it. And you might think, oh, this is it. Then you don't get it. So it's not. Well, it wasn't it, but. I was kind of, you know, I was so, so I had been dealing with Protestant Christianity mm -hmm. 
So I, w- I don't like to tell this story, but I went to this other house and I walked around it seven right. times because mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I, I seen it in the book of Joshua. Uh-huh. So I, I thought the walls was going to fall or the door was going to pop mm-hmm. open. And I'd ask God for that house. And that wasn't my house. Mm-hmm. And I just stood there and looked crazy after I'd walked around it. So what do you do when God say no? When he said, this ain't your place. A lot of people uh, sometimes would give up. Mm-hmm. But God still has ultimate plan. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we ended up being a, not far from that place where I walked around, mm-hmm. but it was another place but for me. But then a lot of times you'll say, thank you, God. That, mm-hmm. I was happy. You we know, definitely love the neighborhood we're in. Yeah. You, you know? didn't give me what I wanted. You gave yeah. me what I need. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And that's what's up with it. So, yeah. so how, what about you and uh, Mr. Taylor? Let's get in your Kool-Aid and, mm-hmm. and, and, and stir it up a little <laughs> bit. Uh, the sugar and all that, get okay. it mixed real good. Okay. What, uh, what, what, how did you guys, uh, how did y'all come up on y'all spot? You know, you keep it real hood. How did y'all get well, over to where y'all was at? He was at um, training camp, and I got bored. Okay. And I just started just driving around, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know these houses were here. <laughs> and I found it, and I told him that, you know, when you get back, I want to show you some houses. Because we were looking. Yeah, yeah, y'all so We were like, okay. Had y'all, y'all hadn't gotten married yet, or y'all had gotten we married? Had, yeah, okay. We had gotten married. Y'all got married, mm-hmm. and y'all said, now we're going to mm-hmm. go find a home. Okay. And so when I did that and when he got back he's like okay what are you you know i can't leave you home too long you didn't <laughs> you gonna go <laughs> out. yeah so that's what we did and it's like he walked in there and he started kind of like doing things in his head and i'm like okay i know he's he like feeling it he's feeling it and it's like it just happened man and, or, mm-hmm. real organically mm-hmm. and it's perfect you know and you- i feel the same way y'all do because it's like We've been in our house for 17 years. Yeah. And I'm like, I love. We are, we've been in the same situation. Yeah. Like, right. It's like, yeah. right. I would not change anything. It's so. a, and, and you made it a home now. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. made it a home now. That's yeah. that's what matters when it, mm-hmm. when that house becomes a home, right. you know. Mm-hmm. And you've raised children in it. Yes. Man, yes. that's what's up, man. And the kids grow up and they mm-hmm. know their room is over here or was over there if mm-hmm. you got to go. Because mm-hmm. we done kick kids out, too. Mm-hmm. We didn't just raise them and we put them out. They, yep. they grown now. They, they got their own house. They got to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I got one last question. Yeah, one more, mm-hmm. one more before we get um, out of here. Um, I've been seeing a lot of um, realtors on Instagram, mm-hmm. and one thing I love is after they sold a house, and the buyers come in, I see a gift. Yeah, from the realtor. Yeah, and some of them gifts looking real, real good. <laughs> we think about getting another I house mean, for a gift. I mean, I mean, I've seen anywhere from, of course, your regular champagne. Mm-hmm. I get some champagne for you to buy that big house. Hold on. I've seen some people get a Louis Vuitton purse. That's the million dollar home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that's right. That's that million dollar that's home right there. I've seen, one. I've seen some mm-hmm. nice gifts that some of these realtors be giving Man. their clients, yes. and I'm like, wow. That's what's up. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I so do you practice giving a little bit sometimes? I do. That's With a blessing. Each, each Closing, I do give something. Something. Mm-hmm. Just, a, I, I still got Tennessee sign that she stuck in, really? in the yard. We, yeah, we that's all we, we got didn't left. Get nothing for our house. No, we got that sign. <laughs> just the sign. We, the we, sign. Well, that's because she didn't pick it. the sign up. Mm-hmm. We had to put the sign on the side of the house, and it, and it stayed the there for pretty much uh, twenty it's been years. Eighteen really? years now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's been there. Wow. That's all we got, man. So thank you so much for coming on the show, man. And if you ever have something that you want to push out to the masses, you can Mm -hmm. always come back by. Um, If something new happens in real estate and we Mm -hmm. really need to inform some people, I'm going to ask you to come back. Would that be okay? That would be great. I I appreciate you for coming Mm -hmm. on the show. So you're not going to ask Miss Lorraine Love, Love Taylor, about the top three artists? I don't know. Do, Do you even listen to music? It can be any. Do you listen oh, to music? Okay. I do. I listen. Okay, I listen. so well, okay. we'll hit a winner. I wasn't going to get, I wasn't going to put it out there because okay. I, okay. uh, top three okay. artists of all time, uh, dead or alive in music genre. Any we just, genre. We, she jumped you in it because oh, really I was going to let you make it. Uh, but uh, top okay. three. Let me see. Michael Jackson's our number one. Yes. Okay. See what I mean? Yeah, you know. Because I know her. Baby I'm going to look at her. Oh, baby okay. face. That's baby the first face. baby face. And I'm a baby face R&B dude, is. too. I knew she yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. That's else. what you was wanting, mm-hmm. that R&B. You know, I put that R&B on you, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I like when you sing it. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. Let, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me come back. Let's come back. Let me see. No, no, no. Let's go. Me, me, me. No. What you need to do is give me that last one. Okay. Let me see. So you said Michael Jackson, baby face. Um... Don't tell me no Keith Sweat. No. Okay. No, he whined no. too much for her. She don't want that. She don't okay. want to hear that. Let me get a girl like Whitney Houston. Whitney oh, Houston. Okay. Bam. Yeah. First Whitney Houston. First mm-hmm. baby face. About the third mm-hmm. or fourth Michael Jackson. Yeah. 
Man, that's a nice top. Mm -hmm. I can't argue with you. You from hometown. I can't even do okay. that anyway. Okay. Man, so thank you so much, thank Lorraine. You. Hey, man, and and definitely want you to come back. Mm -hmm. Definitely want you to be. We gonna, we're going to definitely be. It's gonna, this is going to broadcast over Apple Podcasts, mm -hmm. uh, Spotify, um, what, Google Podcasts, exactly. Stitcher, mm -hmm. uh, iHeart. Mm -hmm. So we, we definitely, uh, you, you, you'll be able to see it on there. Okay. Um, she's the one who controls that. So. Okay. Um, but I but I'm gonna get you the visuals. How about that? Man, say boss talk one oh one. We out.